On today's episode of Inside the Lens, I drive around the block. Hi everybody, welcome to Inside the Lens, episode six. I'm Jesse Martino. welcome back. Good to see you guys, although I don't see you because you are behind the lens and I'm in front of the lens and this is inside the lens. So I'm not quite sure how the whole science behind everything works. You know what? I've really enjoyed shifting the focus from just photography into more of a lifestyle type of a thing. I didn't know that was going to happen, but I'm open to whatever changes. What else has happened? I've really had an awesome um, rediscovery of my love for film, for for making uh, videos and things like that. And from doing this, I've kind of been opened up to once again, another avenue of creativity that allows me just kind of just pour out everything on there. And so as this evolves, I really appreciate the comments and the likes and the, um, the shares, you know, most importantly, the feedback between me and you to say how you like the show, to see what you kind of think about it. In fact, I was teaching, if you follow me on Snapchat, you should, Snapchat. I was teaching at a school uh, here in town. I teach a program, but I was talking to them and I go see this one group all year long. They follow me on, on all these social medias and there's some of them that can really see what needs to change for something to be better. And so I took a lot of their advice this last week and if you go to my YouTube page now, you'll see like all the thumbnails on my videos kind of say something and there's different categories. So hopefully it's easier to navigate. Let me know what you think. I think it looks a lot better. So thank you grade nine students from Broxton Park in Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. You guys are great. On today's show though, I want to take you around a little bit of where I travel, uh, just a short distance from my house to take you know what, a lot, a large percentage of my photographs. But what I really wanna point out today is that no matter where you are, what you have around you, the ability to create something awesome is like literally at your fingertips. You just have to grab hold of it. So here's a little video of me just driving around and looking for something to photograph. to leave but um, people keep calling me and then unfortunately I have voicemail and not digital voicemail and it's the worst thing I've ever had you have no wireless voice oh great menu. it was a false alarm I really want to wear these shoes but Mickey won't let me because they make it dirty I can't find my shoes. I found them down there. You can see why they're hard to find. Kids. It's like the worst day to possibly take photographs out there. There's the minivan. When you have five children, this is uh, your life. Snapchat. Well, I'm off to film some stuff someplace. Here's my camera filming me. Watch. Well, I'm off to film. Yeah. 
when you go on a photo shoot, you have to understand something. Most of the time, when you go on a photo shoot, you have to understand something. You're always looking, you're always exploring. You're looking for something to see. Heading out on a photo shoot is maybe one of my most favorite things to do. The reason being is that I love to explore. Just remember that you never know what's around your, your place where you live. There might be something awesome. I'm gonna take you to a few spots today to see uh, some of the things I shoot in the daytime so you can get a better picture of how lame they are. Which will either A, make you think I'm extremely lazy, or B, you'll really appreciate that I'm just an amazing photographer. That all being said, ah, oh, the wind. That being said, I really encourage you to just head out and start shooting. A lot of the times people say like, oh, you need to climb like the highest mountain or drive to the furthest place or go to a different country or go to a different city. And I just think that's stupid because you live where you live. And if you can't see something amazing there, then why are you even doing what you're doing? Photography is about creating a moment. It's about creating a scene. It's about creating something that you see differently than everybody else. Because I've learned how to shoot things within range. I've learned how to shoot things that I can get to in five minutes. And so if I see a sunset changing, I can be there in five minutes. This is the first spot. This is like a slew. <laughs> Someone put a stupid dock there, which you know I can get to because it rains so much. So yeah, this is uh, where I come quite a bit. It's uh, not much to look at. I got stuck like right over there the other night because it was too muddy. And you see my van over there, that was stuck in the mud pretty bad and you can see it's kind of muddy. I mean, really, it's, it's kind of a dump but you'd never know it from some of these pictures. If a spot this crappy can produce as many images as I have got from it, uh, what are you missing out on? You know, I try to make things kind of funny and stuff, but I also have a serious side if you haven't figured that out yet. And uh, I'm really serious about the idea, idea that you can actually create. I guess I wonder why or where or even when like the word create was limited to so few people. I believe that everybody has the ability to create something. I believe that everybody has something extraordinary. You know, I wonder where along the way it turned into you had to be like some sort of painter or uh, artist of some kind to even have the word creative behind you. And so I ask a lot of people, hey, are you creative? And they'll look at me and be like, no. You know, what do you think about a person that is like really organized? I'm so unorganized, it's ridiculous. And when I meet someone, like my wife, Another bug. It's a bug. But to me, like, I'm just not those things. So I wonder if what they're doing and organize something is actually creative. I really think it is. I think that it's, you're making something that wasn't there and you're making it actually there, which to me is what creativity is. That it, that's what it is to create. You're taking something, a scene or an object or in some cases an idea and you're making it into something that people can actually use. All right. And so, like, you know, what you have to understand is that uh, you can really take a photograph anywhere. It's pretty amazing. You know, these fields are just they growing here lettuce it's not lettuce <laughs> amazing what you can find just by driving around a little bit I come here to this spot quite a bit uh, you'll recognize um, the barn out there 
maybe with some lightning behind it or like a crazy sunset. My whole kind of deal is to reveal what's, what's right in front of your eyes and to show you that more is possible, that more is out there. That, you know, you don't have to do these crazy things that people do. You still have to look, you still have to see things differently. It's how you actually create the moment. But yeah, this is a uh, field. I've done some cool time lapses here, actually. All right, so now, now I'm gonna do a time lapse. Here we are. Get her set up right now. Doing a time lapse. These flowers. I just love you flowers. They're so nice and purpley and oh there's a bug. And some people look at like artists saying like ah I could never do anything like that. I can never be anywhere close to as creative as that. Uh, and totally discounting and discrediting themselves for what they actually have. Do you know that everybody has like a gift or like an ability to 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 do something uh, actually valuable? The value inside of people that that has been placed there from birth is is astounding, and we tap into like the smallest smallest percentage. Creativity is something that can be developed, is something that can grow. And to tell someone that they're just not creative, I think is, is a crime. I think, it's, I think it's really wrong. Oops. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I plan on doing that kind of thing a lot more as it's more like up my alley of what I want to do. Just in recap, just remember this, is that you have the ability to create something. You have the ability, no matter what you think your skill set is, inside of that skill set. And you know what, just let me say, it's, it can be harder sometimes when we get older because we've done things a certain way for so long. But I promise you, if you actually like examine yourself, really evaluate where you're at, there'll be something in there that you know that maybe you, you uh, shoved to the back burner. Uh, I encourage you this week to just tr to try to let it out a little bit and see what happens. Now it's time for the snap of the week. Uh, this week we had some pretty incredible storms roll through here in uh, northern Alberta, or more central Alberta, I guess. Uh, and I almost got hit by lightning. Something's blowing in here in Spruce Grove, Alberta. I'm gonna go see if I can catch something awesome. Here we are, I'm set up. I have my rain cover on because it already started a little bit. It's been a couple lightning bolts. Hopefully I don't get hit. There was a bolt of light, lightning that hit over there and I can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some smoke coming up. I'm gonna go check it out. Well, the storm just kind of fizzled out. Maybe something over there, but I doubt it. So now I'm gonna wait till the sunset, but it's another hour away. Found a spot for the evening. One tree hill. Actually, three tree hill, but Whatever. Oh, the storm has arrived. It's starting to go off. I'm trying to get this barn in it. it should be pretty awesome. Oh, yes. I got that one on tape. You can imagine what that is, and I've been standing in it for the last 10 minutes. At least it's my own. 
There's one of the photos from tonight. Pretty crazy. The lightning. Poor barn. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Uh, remember that I appreciate so much. I love them. The likes and the shares and the comments, but not your comments. Your comments are dumb. Until next time, everyone, I'm Jesse Martineau. And remember, don't just capture moments, create them.